In this video, you'll see how to update your PayPal payment gateway in MemberPress. If you've been using PayPal to accept payments on your site anytime before April of 2022, you'll want to update your PayPal payment gateway in the MemberPress settings. This update will add an enhanced customer checkout process and give you additional security benefits. It won't cost you any more and the process is really easy, so you'll want to update it. So I have a sample site here set up with PayPal already in use. Right here from the WordPress dashboard, I can already see a notice that I need to update my PayPal gateway. Go ahead and click this button here to start updating. It'll take you to the Payments tab of the MemberPress settings, which you can also get to by going to MemberPress, Settings, and clicking the Payments tab. Then I'll find my PayPal gateway. Then here, click this button to upgrade. It'll ask if you're sure, and just click OK to confirm. Then I see two options one to connect live, and another to connect to Sandbox. Since my site is live and is accepting real payments, I'm gonna choose connect live. You can connect to Sandbox here for testing, but just note that if you have your PayPal gateway in live mode, connecting to Sandbox will take you out of live mode and you won't be able to accept real payments. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'll choose connect live and it'll bring up this window. Now, depending on how your PayPal account is set up, you could see this screen here first. In this case, you'll want to select Use Existing Business Account and click Next to continue. Here, enter the email for your existing PayPal account. Be sure to enter the email of the PayPal account that you've been using on your site and not a new or different one. This will prevent some confusion for you that may come up from having different payments on different accounts. It just makes everything easier. So, I'll enter my email and password. Then, I'll log in. It'll take a moment and prompt you with this. Now, during this process, if you see a screen like this for fraud protection, you're not required to enable anything. You can go into your PayPal settings and enable fraud protection later if you want. You can just click I'll do this later and move on in the process. Then I'll click Agree and Connect. It'll work to connect, and then I see this screen. Then I'll click here to close it, and it'll take me back to the Payments tab on the MemberPress settings. Now I can see here that it's connected. Again, you can choose to connect to Sandbox at any time for testing purposes, but just remember that it'll take your site out of live mode and real payments won't work. Then I'll click Update Options to make sure everything's saved. And that's it. PayPal's now updated and connected. Now I'll show you what this looks like to my users on the front end of my site. So, I'll open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. Then, I'll navigate to one of my membership registration pages. I'll fill out the registration with some fake testing data. Then, I'll select PayPal as the payment method. And it shows this button here to sign up. I'll click that, and I can see that it redirects me to this page on the PayPal website. Then, I'll log into another PayPal account I have for testing reasons. One that's different than the account that I use to set up my PayPal gateway as a site admin. If a user is already logged into PayPal in their browser, they won't see this login process. Then you can see here, if I click the price, it gives me some more info about what I'm buying. And it tells me that it charges monthly, since this is a monthly membership. Then I'll select how I want to pay. Then I'll click agree and subscribe. And once it's done processing, it'll redirect me to my member press thank you page as the test user, so I know the registration process worked. Now, I'll close this incognito window and go back to the Payments tab of the member press settings to show you one more thing. Under my PayPal gateway, you can see this option to enable smart payment buttons. If you check to enable this and click Update Options to save the change, here on your membership registration pages, if a user chooses the PayPal payment option, they'll see these buttons for the various options they can pay with. Clicking each one will bring up that same window and the process for each are all similar. And that's it. You've now seen how to update your PayPal payment gateway. See our knowledge base for more information on using PayPal in your MemberPress site. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.